Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I finally got my hands on this. OMG. If I don't know if you guys have been trying to get your hands on this, but it was a nightmare. When it first came out on... Um, where did they release it first? I think on HS... Wait, no, wait. On Too Faced.com, they released it. They said they were going to release it on, I think it was the 12th. I don't, I don't remember exactly what day it was. But they said they were going to release it. And I was waiting till 12 o'clock to freaking purchase it. And it sold out at 10 o'clock. I was like, what the heck? I was so PO'd. So then... I waited till it came out on HSN and then I didn't get it and then I waited till it came out of Sephora and I didn't get it and then Ulta and then I get it <laughs> I didn't get it. So I was just um, out of luck. And then finally I I just kept on going on to HSN and then it finally just went into my cart and I purchased two of them. So I am going to be giving one of these away to you guys. If you guys want to join the giveaway, then I'm going to leave the rules down in the description box. So just um, look down there and you'll see everything you guys have to do to join the giveaway. This is the look I came up with. I saw a lot of looks on YouTube, like everybody's tutorials, like mostly everybody's tutorials are like peachy eyed and... So I tried to come up with something a little different. I didn't want to do like a peach eye. So this is the look that I came up with. Um, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I already have my face on. I did my contour and my blush. And I already did my eyebrows. And I primed my eyelids. So the first color we're going to go in with is Georgia right here. And we're going to use that as our transition color. And you want to put it in the crease. I'm just going to take it all the way from the outer corner all the way into the inner corner. I kind of want my, instead of my eyeshadow, being round I want it to go out a little so I'm gonna flick it out just a little bit so that it's not too round rounded I want it like more like a not like too sharp of a cat eye but just not rounded more angled so I'm just gonna pull it out a little this color you can't really see it, so you're not going to be able to really tell if it's angled or not, but I just want to add it to there. And this stuff is like, this eyeshadow, I can taste it falling into my mouth and it tastes like, I don't know if it tastes like peaches, but it tastes pretty sweet. And I was using the Sigma E40 blending brush. Sorry, I forgot to tell you guys. Next, I'm going to take the Sigma E25 brush. I'm going to take the color, um, what is it in it? the color Summer Yum, and I'm going to put that into my crease as well, just to darken it. And this one you also want to take from inner corner, actually you want to take it from the outer corner, not the inner corner, sorry. You want to make sure you deposit most of the color in the outer corner. And then you can drag it into your crease a little and then bring it to your inner corner. You couldn't already tell we're trying to, we're going to be creating the halo eye or whatever you guys want to call it. Everybody has a different name for it. But that's what we're trying to achieve here. Both of my eyes are like shaped differently, so it's like never comes out the same. So don't feel too bad if you can do it, because sometimes I can do it. Or... Then I'm gonna go with the um, go in with the Sigma E30 brush. I'm gonna take Delectable 
it's the purple shade right here. I'm gonna darken the outer corner and the inner corner with that color. And I wanna go in with a smaller brush just to be a little bit more precise. Place your color and then you can go back with the brush that you were using before and blend it out. And then just keep going back and forth until it's as dark as you like. And then I'm going to take some into the inner corner as well. You always want to start with a little bit at a time so you don't get too crazy and then you have eyeshadow all over the place. It's not how you want it to look. So just take your time. It's like a process. Okay, now I'm going to go in and do the other eye. These eyeshadows blend out really, really good. I'm actually surprised how well they blend. Okay, then once I finished my lid, well, I'm not finished with the lid yet, but I finished with the dark color. I'm gonna go back in with white peach right here. I'm gonna take it on a, this is like a double-sided Morphe brush. So I'm not sure if they sell it anymore, but it's like really old. I'm gonna take that white peach color on my brow bone. Then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take um, on this, what is it? This is a Morphe brush also. It's a C138 round contour. I, I think this is an old ass brush too. But I'm gonna use this one for my lower lash line. And I'm gonna take the color Summer Yum again. I'm gonna take it really lightly. And we're gonna dust that on our lower lash line. And you want to connect it to the top. We're going to take it all the way to the inner corner. Then I'm going to go in with my accent brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to take that delectable color again, that purple color. And we're going to go in closer to our lash line to deepen it. Now we're going to go back in with that brush and blend it out again so it's not so harsh. And then for the center color on our lid, I'm going to take this brush. This is, this is an old brush as well. All my brushes are old. <laughs> this is from Shaney Cosmetics and it's just a packing brush. So you can take any packing brush that you have. And then I'm going to take the color Lucius right here. I'm gonna put it on my brush and then I'm gonna and I'm gonna spritz it with some um, the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and, and then I'm gonna go in so it's a little more uh, intense. Then on the same brush, I'm gonna take Nectar and put that right in the center, right on top of that luscious color. Then I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering um, Eyeliner and I'm gonna put that on, I'm gonna tight line and I'm gonna um, go in my waterline. I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Liquid Liner and Trooper and I'm going to make a, um, a wing. And 
Then I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes and then add some oh. mascara. And I'm gonna apply my Coco Lashes in Goddess and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go in uh, with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. Finally got my hands on a new one. And I'm gonna coat my bottom lashes. I think I want to add some highlights, so I'm going to go in with uh, MAC Nylon, Max Nylon, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite ever eyeshadow from MAC. So if I always use this one, I'm sorry guys. Unless you guys introduce me to a new one. Unless you guys introduce me to a new one, I'm going to keep on using this one. <laughs> and I also like to use this for my highlight. So I'm going to go in with the Sigma F35 and I'm going to use nylon for my highlight. Look at that. Look at that. That bomb right there. That bomb shouldn't be right there. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna put some on my nose. And then some on my cupid's bow. For my lipstick, I'm going to go in with um, Coco K by Carly Cosmetics. I finally got my hands on a couple of these. And I wanted to I wanted to get the lightest one because I wanted to try it out and see how it went with my skin tone. So that's the color we're going to try today. It's Coco K. This is the lip liner. So the lip liner is really nice. It goes on really soft. I just wish it was like a like a twist up. I don't know if that's asking for too much, but it would have been really nice if it was a twist up. It's really cool because it closes like when it closes, it snaps. So like, you know how a lot of uh, lip liners, the top always comes off. Mine's are like I'm missing like a lot of caps on my lip liners. This one actually snaps on, so you don't really have to worry about losing that. And then I'm going to go in with the liquid lipstick and Coco K as well. So we'll see how we like this. Ugh. Right from the start, it has like a lot of product. Look, it looks like it's going to drip. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look. Oh, it's like going to drip. That really sucks. That's, that's one um, negative thing about this product. Mm -hmm. That sucks. It smells good. But that really sucks. I don't know if the stopper is not like strong enough or something. And I think the stopper needs to be st um the stopper needs to be tighter so that it'll hold like more of the product in because like grip of product comes out. That really sucks. I bet if you lay this on the table, it'll like just spill all over the table. But well, let's try it on. I didn't have to double dip because it freaking had so much product on the wand, so that's a good that's it's a good thing and it's not a good thing. I think this color looks super pink on me. Thought it was supposed to be a little bit lighter, but I guess I'm so pale that it comes out. 
pink. It looks pink on me. I think I'm gonna go in and uh, lighten it with Joseph Colors Sand. Just gonna put this in the center. I hope she makes a lighter color. I'm always on the, the hunt for some good nudes. And I can never find them because they never look good on me. Like, they're all, they always come out too dark. They always look like so good on other people. But when I try them on, it's like so dark. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below, please. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learn something from this video i hope you like the way it turned out and whoever um wins the palette i hope you recreate this look and send it to me so i can see um if you guys want to join the giveaway then the rules will be down in the description bar I'm so excited to give away this palette to somebody because i know i went through like some tough times trying to get this palette and whoever wins i can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this palette Smells pretty yummy and tastes pretty yummy too. I mean, you don't want to eat it, but a little bit falls into your mouth and it tastes pretty good. If you guys don't win the palette, then don't be upset. I'm gonna have some more giveaways. And um, stay tuned because I'm gonna be having a giveaway on some of the Kylie lip kits. So if you guys wanna join that giveaway, then just stay tuned because I know how hard it is trying to get your hands on these too. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So if you guys want to um, um, bye. Bye. Ha 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 bye. <laughs> bye. I just ate two chickens, mommy. Just ate two chickens. Okay, I'm gonna get that in you, chicken. What? <laughs> OMG.